Here we will consider the hardware of port 0 and go through all the components in detail so that we can understand it much better. We know that each port has 8 pins and every pin will have such hardware structure. This tells that story. P0 stands for port 0 and that X can be anything ranging from 0 to 7. Whenever we write any data onto pin, the data is first written onto the latch and then it is transferred to the output. This is a D-type latch. We write either 1 or 0 to the input and when we enable this latch through this pin, the data, the input is available, it is visible at the output. And this is just a complement of the output. This, this is the control logic. This is the control logic. Port 0 of 8051 has dual functions. Either it can be used for input output operations or it can be used as bidirectional low order address and data bus for external memory. And this control logic decides what it is using for. If it is using for say input output operations then it allows this data to pass through. This is a 2 is to 1 max. Or say if it is using for external memory then it allows address and data bit to pass through. This was about the control logic. Then we have got FETs. These two are called field effect transistor. They act exactly like switch. Whenever a high input is given, then it acts as a closed switch. It allows the data to pass through. If a low signal is given, then it acts as an open circuit. That means it doesn't allow anything to pass through. And here we have got buffer. This is a buffer. If we want to read what we have written onto latch, we can do so using this buffer. We will simply enable the buffer and we will read what we have written onto the latch. And this is also a buffer but this reads data from the pin. Say for example, an external device has written something onto the pin here. It has written something onto the pin and if we want to read that data, we will read it through this buffer. We will enable the buffer and we will read what we have written, what an external device has written to the port pins. This was about the explanation of all the components that are used to build port 0.